writing in the dark, recalling first impressions which defy reason, like the cigarette smoke, languidly drifting from her lips, ephemeral wrists reflected in a pair of bright eyes beckoning to share a private exchange. Within the surrounding chatter, their conversation flows freely as the hours slip by and they are alone in the back garden, sipping another round, passing the joint between them, his smoke, now mixing with hers and crafting an air of secluded space wherein there rests the possibility of building something on this fragile foundation of a chance meeting, even if such expectations often prove misguided, leading to nothing more substantial than the evaporating smoke. Thanks. Empathy. The creature sniffed her hand cautiously, having long been conditioned to be leery of kindness, quick to anger, and ready to pounce, believing a blood-soaked muzzle might please the master as unconcerned for his sentry's needs as he was for his wife's. Another trophy, one through guile instead of wooed with affection. Deep within those caves, dripping water echoing off cold stone walls, she knelt beside the three-headed beast, gently stroking each neck, knowing in the end all animals are the same, wishing to please, blind to a master's faults, whereas her eyes were open, well, almost. Despite all her care, she had missed that one decisive trick. Who would have guessed? The harm caused by pomegranate siege, yet that's all it took to trap her and bend her to another's expectations. <laughs> Works in progress. The painting, dimly lit by moonlight, rests uneasily on the floor where he crouches to examine its brash, swirling colors, mixing, if not in complete harmony, then in anticipation of some unifying melody yet unheard. Captivated by the picture's unruly plane, he runs his hand along its jagged surface, sculpted from harsh brush, brush strokes and sealed by the artist's own fingertips. It's lovely, he offers. It's something, she replies, her lips brushing his neck, reawaking recently spent energies. Initial inspiration, she muses, can be invigorating even when its destination is a dead end. Thank you.